Hey gamers, well, Halloween is around the corner, so I thought it'd be fitting to review a Halloween-themed board game. Today we're going to look at Vampire Hunter. Let's check it out. All right, so before I start, let me just show you the base setup for the game. By the way, this tower came in this box. Look, it's got a little bat on the front of it. That's kind of cool. I, it's not necessary. Some of the thing looks like a dice tower is what I could turn it into, but I'm going to throw the package away, but I thought that was really neat that it came with a bat. Um, so even the packaging is thematic here. But this is the tower, and what you're going to do is you're going to take these tiles. You have bats, skulls, ravens, and uh, uh, gravestones, and you're going to put them over the icons on the board. Now, you're going to shuffle these tiles because they're different. And what you're going to start off with, you can play one to four players. These are your vampire hunters right here. And so you have these four vampire hunters, and even if you can't see, each of their bases are different. This one's oval, circle, uh, it looks like a hectagon. This is a square there, so that's really neat. Um, but those characters start right here at the start place. You also have Dracus's ship, which is going to be placed on the 10 marker here. This is a track that goes from 10 to 1. You're also going to flip over uh, the coffin right there, because you're not going to reveal it yet. Put that in there, make sure that sticks. Uh, and so what you're trying to do, oh, you're also going to shuffle these cards right here. <laughs> forgot about that. Shuffle the red card, shuffle the blue. There's not that many blue, but you're going to put the red on top of the blue, put the stack right there. Now, how the game's going to start off with is every player gets a garlic. That's very important. You'll need that to defeat Dracus later on. But every player starts off with garlic. And what they're trying to find on this board is they're trying to find two other weapons. They're trying to find the stake and the sword. And they're trying to make it through the graveyard, the marsh, the dining room, and the crypt to get to Dracus to defeat him by using all three weapons. Now, how the game goes is that you'll draw a card, switch this timer from day to night, and then roll this die to see uh, how far you're going to go. And this is your battle die. Now, let me show you the game, but to show you that, I got to switch to night. Look, it's scary night right now. And now it's daytime. And now it's night. Now, I'm going to have to take the camera to kind of show you this because the board changes all the time depending on what uh, color you are on. So to show you these, uh, you see we have, and I hope this is picking up here, we have uh, raven skulls, everything. What I do is I pick a card, and this card says, switch it today, so I change it today. Now, what I do is I roll this die. As you see, it's a six, right, oh, I'm sorry, it's an eight right there, but if I switch it tonight, it's a five. What, that's magic. No, it's a six, excuse me. So I only move six in the day, but eight at night. How cool is that? And that's, that's the whole thing. That's eight. There's six. I just think that's so neat. Uh, again, I really hope you're being able to pick this up. What they're going to do is they're going to roll, I mean, flip over the card, switch it from night to day, whatever it is. Then they're going to roll this die, move those uh, spaces on the board. Now, they can move any of these spaces, but when they get here, they have to reveal these cards. Now, that could be bad or good. Now, let's say he's right here. That's where he ends his turn. He can reveal the tiles. That's a sword. He'll take that. Over here is another sword. He has to leave that because he already has a sword. And over here is a stake. Wow, that was super lucky. He got all the weapons he needed. And now, uh, on his next turn, he can move on. Well, that's the end of his turn. The next turn, someone will... Uh, will uh, roll the dice and they can pick up the sword if they want to and end their turn or they can just keep going. Now they can pass over these tombstones but they can't cross over a tile. If they get to a tile they have to flip it over and see. Now there's other things on these tiles. For instance, well, there's another sword. Man, it's full of swords here. Okay, see this one? It just switched over to a gravestone. Now that's kind of weird, isn't it? But if I have to, but if someone picks a card and it says switch to knight, well then I switched to night, and oh, can you see that? It's a vampire that came out. And if that's the case, I got to roll my hit die, and I got to make sure I can hit it. So I roll it, and if it's a skull, that means I lost, and I go back to the beginning. If it's a hit die, I defeated that vampire, and I take him off the board. But watch, if I switch it today, shut up. And they have the same thing for other people on the board. Okay, see, here's one. Uh, friendly villager. But then at night... Oh no, he's a werewolf! We gotta stop him! 
Villager, werewolf, oh no! Another one, if you see, I flip this over, and it's nothing but mist. Ooh, mysterious mist. But when he goes a knight, oh no, it's a vampire! We have to defeat it! <laughs> and as you see, a trap appeared too. If you look here, no trap. It's a keyhole. What does that mean? It's a shortcut. So if my character landed on the keyhole, I had a, let's say I had three turns. One, two, I could move all the way around here and do three. But let's say my turn ended there, and then someone had to switch it to night. Well, now I'm in a trap. If I'm in a trap, I go back to the beginning of that room. Same thing happens if I can't defeat that vampire on the roll, I go back to the beginning of the room. And that's for anyone, werewolves or anything. Now, when you get to Drac uh coffin, you have to switch, flip this over, and as you see, he is a sleeping guy. And you're going to have to roll the dice three times. And for each time you're successful, you're going to place one of the weapons that you earned, whether it be a stake, a knife, and a sword, but you're trying to roll and defeat him three times in a row. If you do not, what you're going to do is you're going to, let's say I only defeated him once with the garlic, and I lost the second roll. Well, then I'm going to go back to the beginning of that crypt. Now, someone else can come in, and they can try to defeat him with the sword and the stake. Uh, you keep going until someone has him defeated on all three. It has to be at night, because in the day, here's what happens to him. Oh, he's a skeleton, and he dies. You killed him. Now, to give you a better view here, whenever you switch this uh, light from uh, day to night, to night to day, every time you do that, according to whatever the cards say here, you have to move Dracus's ship, one, because a day has passed. If 10 days have passed and no one has gotten to his tomb yet, then Dracus escapes. However, if you get to him, reveal the tomb, then the ship is taken off the board. If you've put one of these items on here, ship's taken off the board and it's whoever can defeat Dracus last wins. And that is Vampire Hunter. Okay, so final thoughts on the game. What do I think? Well, this is a cheap little game that came out in the 90s and it is brilliant, isn't it? It's the only game that I know of where you play in the dark. <laughs> Um, and it's super fun. I know it didn't look as clear at night sometimes. When the, I tried to get as close as I could to the light so the camera could reflect on the board. But uh, it looks crystal clear at night when you're playing with your friends. Uh, it's super fun. Uh, like I said, you can understand, you, know, you can get used to the board, but the tiles are always switching around. So you don't know what's going to be weapons, what's going to be you know, vampires and whatnot. I mean, that was a really lucky roll that I got all three weapons at once. Uh, usually that didn't happen. In fact, the first time we played it, we got to uh, Dracus, but none of us had all three weapons. We just tried to run through all, all of them before racing the ship. And the ship can go fast. Uh, for instance, if you draw a day and then a night card and then another day card, the ship's move. You're like, oh man. And then another day, night, if, if, the, if the cards are stacked against you, that ship's going to just zoom down there. And that's kind of what was happening to us because we kept doing day, night, day, night, day, night. Now, if it's day, 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 night, 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 day, oh, man, yeah, you'll be well on your way to defeating Dracus. But like I said, it's just how the cards are played out. And we were trying to rush because uh, that ship left quick. Uh, we didn't get when we got to him. We didn't have all the weapons, so there's a good bounce to the game. I think there's enough to have fun with it. It's a it's a dark it's a play in the dark game, and it's a 3D board, right? Red and uh, blue. At first, I thought, why is red daytime? And then I realized, duh, that's the 3D images on the board. But it looks so cool when you hit it. The dice are different rolls. You you move faster in the day than you would at night. It makes sense. Um, it is such a cool game. Uh, my nephews loved this game so much, I had to get them their own copy to play because it's one of their favorite games to play. And uh, I had an extra copy myself, so I'm super happy to keep it in my collection. So what do I think? Should you get Vampire Hunter? You know, well, I mean, I guess I posted this video too late because Halloween's almost over, or it will be by the time you watch this video maybe. But hey, there's always next year, right? And who says you have to hunt vampires on just Halloween? Uh, this is a really fun game, and uh, yeah, uh, you can get it pretty cheap online, very cheap online, I think. In fact, I think it's still on uh, Amazon.com and a few other retailers. So whether you want to buy it cheap on eBay or cheap on Amazon, it's a fun game. It's for kids a lot, but I'll be honest, adults love it too, like me. All right, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. So until next time, trick or game on.